couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another full fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video, we're gonna learn a fingerstyle arrangement I made especially for you guys and girls of Spain by Cheat Korea. This is a terrific composition and it's my pleasure to arrange and teach you how to play this. But first, you need to hear the arrangement, so I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen as usual. We're gonna have a blast with this one. It goes like this, enjoy. So for the beginning solo, play 7 on the 3rd string and then 11 pull off to 7, same string, okay? And then 9 pull off to 7, okay? So it's, it's this, 7, 11, 7, 9, 7, then 9 on the 4th string, so you get, okay? Then it's 7 slide to 6 on the 3rd string and then 7 on the 4th, so it's and then it's 6 slide to 4 on the 3rd string and then 5 on the 4th string, so it was this. All right. And in rhythm Then you play A7 sus4, bar on 5 with 7 and 7 on strings 3 and 5. Okay, this beautiful chord. You play it three times. And then you take this three frets down to F sharp 7 sus4. Three times. Okay, so that's the intro. play 4 on the 4th string, then you play G, and you play the open 3rd string as the melody note with 3 on the 6th string as your bass note, and you can harmonize of course by the open 4th string. And then you play 2-4 on the 3rd string, so it was this. Okay? Then, same chord. You can play the G bass whenever you feel like it. And you play two, three on the second string and the open E string, so it's this. Okay? Then you play this. Okay? A bar on two for F sharp and three on the third string for F sharp major. And the melody is three, two on the second string. And you can harmonize, of course, with the third string. You should actually to get the F sharp sound. Okay, so you get this. Okay, and then it's four on the fourth string again, and then it's okay zero uh, two four on the third string again, but this time with the open sixth string for E minor. 
And yeah. then it's 2 3 on the second string with A, with the fifth string. And then the open E string. So it's the same melody as before, but instead of G, okay, we get E minor and A. Okay? E bass, A bass. And then we have this. Okay? Um, it's D major 7, and we play 3 on the 2nd string with the open D string, the 4th. And then, open E string, and then the chord, 2, 2, and 2 on strings 1, 2, and 3. And if you want to keep the original feel, you can play this. Okay? It's 3 on the 2nd string, and then the 0 hammer on to 2 on the E string, and then you can add the bar using another finger. So it's... Okay? And then play the chord. So you can do this or the hammer on and then the chord 2-2 two, two on strings uh, 2 and 3. And then open E string, 3 on the 2nd string, then you have this. Okay? It's C sharp 7. It's uh, 2 on the 2nd string and 4 and 4 on strings 3 and 5. Okay, it's the C7 shape up one fret without the uh, second finger, which you need for the soloing. So you play strings 2, 3, and 5, then 3 on the second, open E string, and then you have this. Okay? It's a thumb on 2 on the 6th string for F sharp, and these two fingers on 3 and 3 on strings 2 and 3, and then instead of 3 on the 2nd string, you play 2. Okay? So it's 2 and 3 instead of 3 and 3. Okay? Then you have this. It's the same chord with 2 hammer on to 3, pull off to 2 on the 2nd string. And then B7, strings 2, 3, 4, and 5. So it was this. Then you have the solo. So um, brace yourself because this is a little bit confusing and it's confusing on purpose. I'm gonna break it down for you and play it as slowly as I can, but it only makes sense when you play it up to speed. So it's this. Okay, this is the beginning lick. So it's nine on the fourth string and then on the third. Okay, but it's very short notes. It's not, it's, Okay, you just stop pressing. Okay, stop pressing. Okay, press for a moment, then let go. So, and then it's this. Okay, it's 12 pull off to 11 on the third string, and then 12 pull off to 9 on the fourth. So you can do it like this. Okay, moving your fingers, but it's better practice to do it like this. Okay, with these two fingers. Okay, 12, 11 then 12, 9, and then 9 on the 3rd again, so it's, okay, and again, you mute it right away, so that's the first leg, okay, then you have this, 7 on the 4th string, then you have 7 slide to 6 on the 3rd, again, very short notes, okay, then you have this, okay, it's a hammer on from 7 to 9 on the D string, on the 4th. Then it's 10 on the 5th string, twice. Then you have 7, 9 on the 3rd string. Okay, so together. Okay, the rhythm here is very confusing, so just try to... No, get it in your head and in your ear. It takes a little bit of practice. If you need to listen to the original as many times as possible and get it down, or to my arrangement, to my playing at the beginning of the video. So. Okay, it's very confusing. And if you can sing it out loud, you can play it. Okay? 
Once you get the rhythm down, everything is fine. This is the real challenge of this piece. Um, but we're not done yet, we're here. And now we have this. Okay, this is a beautiful line. It's nine hammer on to 12 on the third string. And then 11 pull off to seven on the third string. And then nine on the fourth. Okay, and immediately, 12 pull off to 9 on the 4th, and then 9 on the 3rd. And then, okay, it's a pull off from 11 to 9 on the 4th, and then from 9 to 7 on the 5th. Then immediately you slide 7 to 9 on the 5th, and 9, 11 on the 4th, you can hammer it on. Okay, and then, Slide, I like to slide, you don't have to slide. It just makes it more interesting. Uh, into eight on the fourth string, and then, okay, it's uh, 11 pull off to nine on the fifth. Again. Okay, got myself confused there for a second. So, Then you have this. Okay, it's um, nine on the sixth string, nine on the fifth, nine on the sixth, and then eleven on the fifth. Okay, and then thirteen slide to twelve on the fifth, nine on the fifth, okay, and then eleven on the third. Okay, that's the end of the solo. Okay, so let's go over the whole solo again. Slowly first, if I can. Okay, now up to speed and you'll see that it makes a lot more sense. Blackout again. Okay. Now it takes practice. I've been practicing this for a while now. Okay. Don't know how long, but at least a month. Um, including the arrangement, of course, but the arrangement is part of the process. Uh, and um, one thing that you need to know technically for playing this, uh, you have this. Okay, this low note there, the seven on the fourth string. If you keep the beat, okay, if you keep the beat with a metronome, this note comes a sixteenth note before the one. Okay, I'll try to count with my head so you can see. Okay, this is wrong. This was on the one. It should be a sixteenth note before the one. Okay, nobody's gonna tell you anything if you do it wrong. It's just a 16th note away, but if you want to do it the way Chick Corea wrote it, it's a 16th note before the one. Okay, like this. Ah, I can't do it, I can't keep a beat with this. Okay, like this. Watch my head. Okay, right before the one. That's the solo. Um, everything becomes a lot easier now. You start the next part with 11 on the third string again, and then G6. It's three on the bass on the sixth string with the open first, second, and third strings. Okay, the melody note is the open E string. And then three zero on the second string. You can harmonize with the third string or strings three and four. Okay, so it's... Um, Of course, you can play the bass anytime you like, and then you have this. It's G again, it's Z 
zero, two, three, two, zero on the second string. Again, you can harmonize with the chord. And then again, this. This, uh, this shape that we played before, three, three, and two on strings, two, three, and six. Okay, and then with two, three on strings, two, uh, two and three. Okay, F sharp. And then three on the third string by itself. Okay. Then you have okay, the same melody again as on the G chord, but with E minor. It's um, two on the E string, and then the open E string with E minor. Okay, string one, two, three, and six. Then three, zero on the second string. Then you play the A bass and immediately play Two on the third string, zero, two, three on the second, open E string. So it's. Okay, remember, the A bass comes first. Okay, as many times as you play it, it comes first. And then this again. Okay, or. Okay, same as in the intro. Okay? Not the intro, the first part. The intro was this, so. okay. So um, it's uh, A, and then G, uh, not seven, G major seven. Okay, it's G with two on the E string. Play it any way you like. And then it's the open E string. That's the next note. I like to. Okay, to pull off the two to zero, so it's um, okay. You don't have to. Okay, or okay, a really fast ghost note there, and then three on the second string, then the uh, C sharp seven again. Um, it's this first. It's um, kind of the same line. It's two, three on the second string, then the open E string. Okay, but you keep the chord and play three, two, one, zero on the E string. Okay, if you keep playing the bass note, it works. And when you play zero, you can be on F sharp seven. Uh, which is two, three on strings two and three with two on the bass with the open E string, which is the melody note. So it's okay, and then three, two on the second string. You can harmonize it with three on the third, and then it's this. It's uh, B nine sus four or B nine eleven, and it's uh, B seven. Okay, but instead of two on the E string, it's two on the B string, and you play strings one, two, three, and five. And then let go of the pinky and play the uh, second, third, and fifth strings, or strings two, three, four, and five. Okay, so it's. And then you have this. Okay, it's B. And you can put the whole B chord on, but why put anything on the D string? You don't play it. So it's uh, strings two, three, and five. And zero, two on the E string, just bar off, bar on. Okay? And then you start from the E minor line of the first part. Okay, you play the second half. back to the solo and you can just loop it around or stop where I stopped after the G line that comes right after the solo. So that's Spain for you. You can go download the tab from the website. The link is right below in the description. But before you do, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? There's a ton of lessons just like this one on the channel and many, many, many others uh, unlike it. But 
as cool as this one. So uh, why not just click subscribe and join the Lick and Ref community? Everything right here is for free, the lessons, the tabs, everything. But if you wanna give something back anyway, there's a large blue donation button right above the tabs in the website. You can't miss it. It's large, it's oval, it's blue, it's beautiful, and it says donate. And uh, any donation goes right back into Lick and Ref. And I thank you very much for watching. And I thank you in advance for any donation you choose to make. Thank you very much. And um, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye. Thanks for watching.